Hey there, this is Michelle Pesco Salido. So in this training video, I wanna talk about a new feature that's available on your Facebook fan page. It has nothing to do with Facebook advertising. You don't need to spend any extra money to do this. This is all about audience optimization. It's a really cool feature that was just released as of making this video. And it has to do with you posting your status updates. Now, if you have less than 5,000 fans, you should be able to go into your settings here on your fan page and in the general section and turn on audience optimization. Now, if you have over 5,000 fans, you should have this automatically. So let me just show you how this works. Um, if I'm over here posting a status update on my fan page, so let's just say status update, and you know, let's just say that I uploaded an image here, and now instead of just hoping this reaches out, to the 106,000 fans that we have, now I can actually tell Facebook to show this to a specific audience. Now this doesn't mean they won't show it to the audience that you don't specify in the audience optimization section. So right here, there'll be a little icon here that looks like a target. So you're gonna wanna click on that and it's called preferred audience. And what you can do now is you can enter in some interest here. So what this is telling Facebook to do is you're basically going to choose the people you'd like to reach in the newsfeed. Again, it's not going to exclude anyone or any of your fans. They're just going to show this status update. It's more likely to be shown to the people that you're tagging right here in the interest. Okay, so there's several different options here. And this, if you've run any kind of Facebook ads, this is pretty much similar but now we're just doing this with our status update so you can go in here and you can choose a particular business or industry you can choose something in entertainment family relationships fitness and wellness food and drink I believe you can add up to as of right now like 16 different interests so let's just say I've written a status update that you know I want to reach people that are entrepreneurs so I could come in here and I could say business and industry and then I could come down here and say entrepreneurship. Same thing with the Facebook ad manager. You can actually look at their suggestions and see what else they're offering. Or you can also come in here and say, I want to target all the people that, um, that, you know, that like maybe Ryan Dice. And I want to target all the people that like, you know, maybe Frank Kern. You know, maybe I want to target all the people that um, like Mike Dillard. So I'm adding all these in here and um, keeping it kind of specific. This is a little bit more broad, but looking at the suggestions here, you know, maybe I want to target only work at home parents. As again, this has got to be you targeting what makes sense for your page. So what you're seeing here for me may not make sense on your page. So whatever it is your business is, you know who your customers are. You want to go out there and actually target these people. So um, I could put multi-level marketing in, maybe business uh, female entrepreneur. Maybe this is going to show to more, you know, more likely to show to female entrepreneurs. So again, up to 16, you add those in here and you can click save. And then from there, let's go back and click on this. I can also go into audience restrictions and what this is telling Facebook to do is to limit who can see this post. Only people in these audiences you choose can see this post anywhere on Facebook. So I really don't want to go ahead and show this out to people that are 13 years old. Um, so I'm going to add in 20 and then you can again, you can go ahead and decide, you know, if you want to target male or female audience or both of them. You can even do location and um, languages. This has already somewhat been on our Facebook page but the preferred audience part has not. And then from there you click save and then you can publish that status update. So let me just say this again. It's not targeting all the people that like what I've put here, entrepreneurship, Ryan Dice, Mike Diller, Frank Kern, work at home parent, multi-level marketing. It's not targeting just those people. What you're telling Facebook is, is you know, go out there and show this post. Show this, in other words, show this over just showing it randomly to people. Show it to the people who are most likely. Uh, and you can see right here, people in this group are more likely to see your post because that's who Facebook is going to show that to. But again, they're not going to just restrict it to that. Then after this status update has, has been running for a while, what's great about this is, is you can actually go into your insights panel here. So let me leave the page here. And then what you can do is actually take a look at your posts 
And then for example, which I don't think it's gonna be showing for me right now, but you can see this is one where I did targeting. So I'm sharing this post with people in their newsfeed and these are the particular interests that I'm targeting. But you can click on that post and you're gonna be able to see out of that audience, out of the 16 people that you've put there, or maybe you put only five people there as far as interest goes, you'll be able to see which particular audience is more engaged. And then over time, you'll be able to put together a really good targeted list of interest because let's just say after this has been running, I see that the group who likes Ryan Dice or who is interested in Ryan Dice, maybe Evan Pagan and maybe Mike Diller seem to be clicking, sharing, commenting and liking my post a lot more than maybe the people in network marketing, you know, they have an interest in multi-level marketing or network marketing pro. So by using that data, the next time I create a status update, I can maybe leave out Network Marketing Pro because I feel like, all right, after looking at the data or looking into my insights panel, I see that they're really not that engaged. So this is something I envision that's going to take some time to really come up with really good, strong data. So moving forward, you'll be able to optimize your audience a lot better when you create your status updates. But I'm really excited about this new feature. Wanted to share it with you today and, um, you know, basically walk you through the steps of getting started with it. Again, if you have less than 5,000 people on your fan page, you'll have to activate it here in the settings of your fan page. If you have over 5,000, it's already there. So a really cool feature. Hope you enjoyed this training and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.